Hey guys, RayZD179 here, and today I'll be doing a redstone tutorial on a new 3x3 piston door. Now, I know I've done 3x3 piston door tutorials in the past, but I decided to make a new one because maybe you just want a different design. And this one is somewhat smaller than the other two. Um, but, so uh, yeah, let me just show you the door real quick. This is it, just a 3x3 door. If you push the button, it opens up nice and quick. Push the button on either side, it closes, and we can. Go right back through and push the button on the other side and it closes up. So yep, that's about it for the door and it is seamless. Um I think seamless doors should be kind of a standard at this point. Um so yeah. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna strip this thing back to its bare minimum so you guys can see the wiring. Alright guys, I am back and I have stripped this door back to its bare minimum so you guys can see all the wiring and as you can see, look at that. Only too wide. That's pretty amazing, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you the opening and closing times. The closing time on this door is 0.9 seconds, so there you go. Closes up in a blink, and uh, just to give you a frame of reference, the old 3x3, uh, not the spiral one because we weren't going for speed on that one, we were just going for the cool effect, but for the old old 3x3, just to give you a frame of reference, that one's closing time is 1.6 seconds, and this one is 1.9, so... This one's considerably faster. Then we also have the opening time. Uh, hold on, let me close it up. And then we have the opening time on this one, which is 1.8 seconds. So that's also fast. I think it could be faster, but, you know, I just got lazy at the end. So, yep, 1.8 seconds for opening time. And uh, once again, to give you a frame of reference, the old 3x3's opening time was 2.3 seconds. So this one is considerably faster. And now I know that... 0.5 or half a second may not sound like a lot, but in the piston door world, I guess it's quite a bit. Um, so yeah, um, on to the dimensions, it's only too wide, it's 7 long and 10 tall, so 7 by 2 by 10, and that gives it a volume of 140 blocks, so pretty compact, pretty small. Let's get on the building this thing. So over here is the area we'll need, 7 long, 2 wide, 10 tall. Um, now. In this chest here, I have all the materials you need to build it. As you can see, I went for resource light on this. It is only too wide. Um, and in the trap chest over here, I have all the extra stuff you're going to need if you want to use a button because it does take a lever input, unfortunately, uh, for me. Um, but, yeah, so this is what you'll need if you want to just build it. And you also need this stuff if you want to make it a lever. And... Another thing you'll notice is that I have them stacked up in numbers in here, and I decided that instead of getting them all out and then showing you the numbers outside here, um, it would take less time and less editing work if I just showed you numbers in here. So that's I'm just going to do that from now on. So for this build today, we're going to need 5 redstone torches, 16 redstone dust, 4 redstone repeaters, 12 sticky pistons, 38 building blocks, and a lever. And our wools for today are going to be red wool for the input, lime wool for the double extension, light blue wool for the double retraction, and blue wool for the top and side pistons. Alright, that's all we need out of that chest. Let's get on the building this. So, what we're going to want to do, eh, going to want to find the middle um, of your seven long area, and build up three, three sticky pistons like this, punch out the bottom one, then place your input block right there, um, whack a lever on it, power it on for now. Um, we don't need that. Um, then, what we want to do, well, I'm just shifting stuff around, uh, let's build our frame, um, off of this double extender right here, so just build the frame all the way around, um, and the double extender will be in the middle bottom, right there. Then our piston layout, what we're going to need to do is place a piston like that, um, then two pistons on the left side facing inwards, and then two pistons on the right side facing inwards, so like that. Then three pistons on the top facing downwards, like this. Um, and then we're also going to need another uh, sticky piston right here. Whoops. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Kind of difficult to place, but right there, also facing inwards. So then what we're going to need to do is build in our double extender circuit. So behind this input block, which has the lever powered on, uh, place a torch. will become powered by the lever block on top of that, then torch on, uh, no, not torch on the side, block on the side like this, and make ourselves like a backwards L shape, redstone dust right there, and come over on this side, torch right there, torch right there, then redstone dust right here, or block there with redstone dust on it, it should turn off that torch, 
Um, and then in front of this torch, we have a four tick repeater like that on top of our input lock. Now we need a block right here to give this sticky piston right here and block on top of the torch and torch there. Something will happen, just break it, replace it, and then fix the floor. Um, and yeah, that's our double extender circuit. So if you pull the lever up, it'll double extend, but when we pull it down, no double retraction yet. So when you build that in, all right, so what we're going to need to do is come to this redstone here on the back, block down like that, three tick repeater going out of it that way. That three tick repeater goes into a block, and on the other side of that block we have a one tick repeater. On top of this block we have a sticky piston facing in the direction of the repeater with a block on its face. Then in front of the repeater we have redstone, and up to the left we have redstone, and then up to the left again we have redstone. That goes into this block. This block has to be solid. This is very important that this is a solid block. Just think of it as part of the circuit. Um, so then down here, uh, we go down one, redstone there. Then a block underneath all of this and a four tick repeater facing towards the pistons like that. And that's our double retraction circuit. So if we pull the lever like that and pull it again, now we have a double retraction. So now the easy part, just getting to the power to the top pistons. All we need to do is place a torch right here. That will happen. Just fix it by breaking and replacing. Block on top of the torch, redstone on that, and then build this here. It's kind of not explainable-ish. So like this. So kind of build a spiral up and then across the back and then come back down on top of these two pistons. Um, and yeah, that's all the wiring done. So if we pull the lever now, close this up, pull it again, opens up nice and quick. Now, all the only thing we, that is left to add would be if you want to have buttons. So let's first build the frame out. Um, but before, uh, if you're fine with having a lever input, then that's it. You're done. Um, but I don't know if most of you would want a lever or if most of you would want a button. But I know I like buttons better. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So we'll be building out four. Uh, you only need three, but I like four for like extra standing space away from the door. So I'm just going to build it out four. But you do have to build it out at least three to keep the um, the button circuit away from the rest of the wiring. So build that at least three. I'm going to do four for demonstrational purposes. One, two, three, four. 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 Kind of ruining my rhythm here. Okay. There we go. That's pretty much it. Whoa. Okay. Now, our buttons, uh, if we, hold on, I'm going to close the door just to make this more clear. Um, our buttons are going to go here, so two blocks away and put a button there. Um, but first I'm going to get all that stuff, so hold on, let me clear my inventory real quick. Okay, going to this chest, you're going to need an extra 14 redstone, an extra two redstone repeaters, and you will need three if you want it to be all in sync, but I'll explain that later. Uh, two sticky pistons, a uh, redstone block, two buttons, and I'll be using red wool just to build this. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to knock this out of the way. Um, so what we're going to do is, like I said before, two... One, two, three. On the third block away, put your button just to keep the wiring away from the piston door wiring. So one, two, three, right there. Um, then what we're going to do is at the back of the button, coming out of the back of the button, we have a block with redstone on it. In front of that, sticky piston facing upwards, block on top of it. Block in front of that, repeater, block, redstone. So we have this set up. Then underneath that redstone, we have a sticky piston facing towards us. Redstone block on its face. A uh, block below this. Ooh, whoops. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Block below this with a space in between the redstone block and the block. Uh, we have redstone. And this redstone goes down, down, and over to here. Break off that lever. Um, then redstone like that. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to have for the other button, build out two, go across like this, and straight into that piston. Then redstone, 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 and that will connect, so we want to do a repeater there, and then redstone, 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 and it's done. So as you can see, we use two repeaters, but this is what happens to the animation when it opens. Um, down here in this right corner, watch the block. So it extends a bit early, and when you open it, 
it kind of hangs around for a little while. And the reason for that is when you push the button, this redstone powers the piston right there, that piston. Um, and it still works fine and everything, but the animation's a bit messed up. If you're fine with it being like that, um, then that's okay, then you're done. But if you're not, then you have to use an extra repeater right there uh, to block power from the pistons. So if you have another repeater, then this is what it looks like. So all the pistons move out of the side way, move out of the way in sync. Um, but if you really don't care about the sync, you can break off that repeater. I prefer to have it like that because I just think it looks smoother. We're kind of going for a clean look. Um, but yeah, that is the whole piston door done, including the button T flip flop circuit thing. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this door. If you have enjoyed the video, a rating would be much appreciated. Also, if you really enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? Um, and leave your questions in the comment section down below. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. So hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you later.